oh my gosh i finally got my backdrop right you guys i got two more lights so it would light up my backdrop so it would look more multi-dimensional because i feel like in the last video you guys probably don't even care what the, why the fuck am i telling you guys and hey fam fleek by leah here and welcome back to my youtube channel Okay, so today's video is going to be the essentials to a makeup kit for starters. And this is for aspiring makeup artists, people who don't have anything and want to know what to start off with if they want to do makeup on others. This isn't for people who are already doing freelance makeup artistry. This is for people who want to start and want to know where to start, what to start with, you feel what I'm saying? So if you are already a freelance makeup artist, um, feel free to leave your tips below as well. Just don't be condescending, don't be mean. This isn't about being mean or bashing or bashing other people's ideas, other people's tips. Just add your own tips in as well, okay? So I figured this video would be very helpful. Um, I will insert some of my freelance makeup artistry work. Look at my wrist, ay. Look at my wrist, ay. Look at my wrist, yeah. Blam, 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 watch that wrist. Watch that wrist, ay. Blam, 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 watch that wrist. Watch that wrist, ay. Blam, 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 watch that wrist. Watch that wrist, ay. Blam, 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 watch that wrist. Um, but I've kind of like taken a step back from freelancing for now because I just. I couldn't put my energy both into creating content on my YouTube channel and freelance makeup artistry. It was very hard for me to like balance both. And it's almost like I had to choose between one or the other. I really love freelancing. Um, I still get anxiety about it, but I will um, insert my work. Maybe you've already seen it. Um, but yeah, so I do do freelance makeup artistry. I do know a few things. I haven't done it for super, super long, like not 10 years or anything. But I did start off the kit myself with no help, no um, input or anything. So I just want to show you guys what I have in my kit and what I really think is essential. Sorry. Essential in yours. Okay, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, so this isn't going to be in any particular order. I just have my kit in front of me and I'm just going to show you guys what's really important, like what you really need to have in your kit. Okay, the first thing and the most important thing you need to have in your kit is alcohol. I have the 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol, just so you can sanitize everything. You really need to make sure you are sanitary with everything. Sanitize everything. Sanitize your brushes, your palettes, your phone, just everything. You need to be clean when you are doing makeup on others. You do not want, want to run the risk of a client breaking out in something horrendous because you failed to be sanitary you feel me like that's a lawsuit someone can sue you because of that and you want to avoid lawsuits at all costs you guys okay so go grab you some 91 percent isopropyl alcohol it's very affordable very cheap and i like to put mine in a spray bottle i know this says febreze on it but i i dumped the febreze out and i really made sure i washed this bottle very well so no fragrance was left in it and i just dumped the alcohol in this little spray bottle which is convenient you know what i'm saying it was convenient for me at the time okay a second thing that i think is very important is to remove makeup like sometimes you make mistakes you're gonna have to remove makeup from your client i feel like makeup wipes they're kind of very pricey if you keep buying them you keep buying them you feel me so i really like the garnier skin active micellar cleansing water i feel like this stretches very far and it removes makeup so well like in one swipe is gone so i you can use makeup wipes if you want but i feel like this stretches further and i would really just recommend a micellar cleansing water because it removes makeup so well so quickly just keep some paper towels on deck some napkins on deck and yeah let's see i think what else what else is very important is to have a neutral makeup i'm sorry a neutral eyeshadow palette um mine is the morphe 350 palette i really think this is a very staple and key eyeshadow palette for neutrals there are many on the market there are so many neutral eyeshadow palettes that you can get your hands on but i really like the morphe 350 mine broke you feel me y'all saw it in the last video but just get you make sure you have a neutral eyeshadow palette because Maybe I should say most people ask for natural makeup looks. If you're like very known for doing very dramatic makeup looks, then that's what people are going to ask you for. Like people ask me for a lot of dramatic makeup looks because they know that's what I do on myself. So I get a lot of that. Um, but still make sure you have a neutral eyeshadow palette. 
on deck. Also, I think the Jaclyn Hill palette is pretty, pretty neutral if you ask me. And it has your pops of color. So I feel like this makeup kit by Jaclyn Hill Morphe, which recently came out, I feel like this is a great palette to start off with with clients. But if you want something that's readily, readily available, like I know the 350 restocks like basically every week. So get you that. Um, but yeah, start off with a neutral eyeshadow palette. Just make sure you have one. Also, some people might ask you for a colorful look and you want to make sure you have a colorful eyeshadow palette too. My favorite is the Morphe 35B. It has basically all the colors you can ask for. You can mix some colors in to get a desired shade. But start off, have a neutral eyeshadow palette and a colorful eyeshadow palette. So you're prepared for looks, okay? You're prepared. Like, you don't want someone, you don't want to have a client come to your house or come to your shop and you don't have what they want you know what I'm saying like you just lost out on money okay so of course you're gonna need foundation like I started off with actually a foundation palette by Morphe but I didn't like it it made my clients look a little cakey and I was just never proud of how it looked so I would just get some good ass drugstore foundation my favorite drugstore foundations are the Maybelline fit me the dewy kind you feel me they're very affordable to get get you the darkest shade the lightest shade and a few shades in between because if you start off with the darkest shade the lightest shade they have and then some shades in between you can just mix them together like you don't have to buy the whole line yes you run the risk of not having someone's right undertone if you do that but if you're just starting off start off with four foundations the darkest the lightest and like two in between Another one of my favorite drugstore foundations, of course, is the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I feel like this is great. It works on multiple skin tones in my complexion, in my opinion. What the fuck, my complexion? Um, I have oily skin, and this is a Pro Glow foundation, and I love it. All you have to do is set their foundation. Like, you can use a hydrating foundation on someone with oily skin. You just have to make sure you set it very well. Set their primer, or just dust a little bit of powder over top of their primer. Oh, primer. That's, that's another. Okay, you're gonna need to prime their skin, of course. Um, get you a primer. Me personally, I like primer mist. I feel like primer mist can work for any skin type. People with... Stop. Okay. This is the thing. People rec don't recommend hydrating things for oily skin, which is something I don't get. Oily skin needs hydration. That's part of the reason why it's so oily. Like, you need hydration. Don't be afraid to use something hydrating on someone with oily skin. I would not use something that has an oil base on someone with oily skin. You feel what I'm saying? Because you're just adding to the oil. So my favorite thing is a primer mist. I love Hard Candy's Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer Mist. I feel like it leaves a sticky finish so foundation can stick to it. It's hydrating. It can work for multiple skin types. Oily skin types need hydration as well, you guys. If you see that someone's skin is hella dry, you need to use something very hydrating. It can be moisturizer, you feel me? Just make sure you have something hydrating on deck. You can always mattify the foundation with powder, you guys. Okay, powders can be expensive sometimes, depending on what you get. So you are going to need a setting powder. I would recommend translucent. There are so many translucent powders on the market. Pick your fave, okay? My favorite is the RCMA No Color Powder. Um... I have used this on very deep complexion clients and no it didn't leave flash black you flash black <laughs> flashback you just have to make sure you dust it away very well and then you set their face first you mist over their face like that primer mist or max fix plus is a good one and then set their face with setting spray you feel what I'm saying but you can use translucent powder on deeper complexions you just have to make sure you dust it away very well or just don't bake you don't need to bake like not everyone can doesn't not everything needs to be baked you don't have to bake someone's face you feel what i'm saying it's not necessary um but also i like the l'oreal hydra perfect translucent powder i just kind of like the finish it gives but translucent powder if you are on a budget you are just starting off your makeup kit just get a very good translucent powder okay you can use it on multiple skin types multiple skin complexions you feel what i'm saying Okay, if you're just starting off, you can ask your clients to get their own lashes before they come to your appointment. Um, or you can provide lashes. I would just get Ardell lashes or Kiss lashes. They're very affordable. You can stack them. If someone wants a more dramatic look, just buy multiple pairs of lashes and stack them. Make them dramatic, you feel me? Um, but yeah, start off with lashes. Get you some lashes. Get you some affordable lashes. Um, I know... Who has affordable lashes online? You can get Coco lashes. 
but they're not the most affordable you can me i think ardell is a little cheaper than um coco lashes dodo lashes if you go to dodo lashes i know they have affordable lashes if you, a, a lot of people have coupon codes so just find you someone who has a coupon go give you some dodo lashes um but if you don't feel like waiting for them to come in the mail um just get some ardell lashes stack them or just ask people to bring their own lashes you can do that if you're just starting out people don't understand plus y'all people is hella cheap sometimes like they'd rather bring their own lashes than pay extra to have you provide the lashes if like you have like a lower price range people are cheap okay okay you want to have blush get you a blush kit a lot of things come in kits and it's just way easier to carry things in palettes then just have a bunch of single shit unless you have a magnetic single shadow palette which i know the z palette makes uh makeup forever makes um you can buy individuals and just pop them out but if you don't have the time for that if you're stressed you don't know which blush to buy just get you a blush kit i got this from ross y'all it's by beauty trees blush palette it can work on multiple complexions you know I would start off with things that already come in palettes. Okay, you gonna need some concealer, right? You know the most affordable concealer on the market? LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. I love the I love this concealer so much. It works so well. It's so affordable. I think I got these for two dollars each. Like get them online, they're very cheaper than if you go into the store. If you go into the store, they're about five dollars. You get them online, I got these for two dollars each. I got every shade because you never know. Like, you never know, you don't want to be limited, like, you want to be able to do multiple complexions, you feel what I'm saying? Multiple skin tones. So, I would start off with LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. It's a really good concealer, like, I still use it on myself, like, I love it so much. Okay, girl, you're gonna need some setting spray, okay? The drugstore is actually coming through with setting sprays lately, like, I like the Wet n Wild one, um, Milani has one. Hold on, focus girl. Milani has one. It's a make it dewy one, but your people who are oily kind of need a mattifying foundation a little bit. So I would recommend um, NYX's Matte Setting Spray, which is really good. I've never tried it, but other people have raved about it. I personally, even though I have oily skin, I like dewy finish setting sprays. But because I don't like to have multiple setting sprays in my kit, like if you start off, you just want a universal setting spray. It just gets you a universal setting spray one that doesn't say dewy or matte on it it just says setting spray you feel what i'm saying and the wet and wild one is actually really good i was shocked this shit was only like 3.99 get you just a universal setting spray if you're just starting off because it is good it's good you could just use translucent powder to mattify someone this is kind of on the pricey side but you can also have people bring their own lipstick girl if you can't provide lipstick yet but i think the anastasia beverly hills lip palette comes so clutch because it's in because it's in a palette you can just scoop the color out and it comes with a it comes with a pan so you just scoop it out put it on this pan you can mix colors together get a custom color so i feel like this is a great thing to have in your makeup kit but you can just ask people to bring their lip color. But the thing is, some people just don't bring good products. You know what I'm saying? That's why you just can't always trust to tell people to bring their own stuff. Because then you got to work with something that you kind of don't want to work with. Just because of how the finish is going to be. But yeah, start off with the lip kit. BH Cosmetics makes a lip palette just like this. I saw it in Ross, y'all. So check Raj. Check Marshalls. Check TJ Maxx. Check, um, what, what was the other? Check Ulta, that's where I saw it at. Ulta had the lip palette, I think. Yeah, BH Cosmetics makes one, hella cheap. Okay, nowadays, highlighter is in. You gonna need some highlighters. I would suggest just getting a highlighter kit. Um, the Anastasia Beverly Hills makes them. This one is a sun kiss palette. Um, it's worked for me for multiple complexions, but for black women, I don't really like it because it is a little ashy, you feel what I'm saying? But I already have highlighters that I've owned. I just sanitize them with some alcohol and use them, but maybe you just wanna start off with with a kit so get you a highlighter kit it doesn't have to be from Anastasia Beverly Hills it can be from any brand if you like the highlighter then you use it don't use something you don't like or you don't know how to use okay okay you're gonna need some contour you're gonna need some bronzers like you need to be able to sculpt the face with multiple complexions um I think black radiance makes some good contour palettes this is the light to medium one that I have and it has a highlighting shade in there too so this is really really good um they have the medium to dark which can work for very deep complexioned women yes girl and it comes with a highlighting shade anastasia beverly hills makes a contour kit this isn't my fave just because it kind of only works for people who are fair 
and up to like my complexion it doesn't really work for anyone deeper but they do have cream contour kits but you can use concealer to contour y'all that's why i got every shade of the la girl pro hd concealer it comes in the very deep shades you can use those for contouring but if you are not comfortable with contouring with cream contour shades shades oh my gosh just get you a contour kit that has multiple contouring shades so you can contour someone who is of deeper complexion okay you're gonna need disposable lip wands okay don't use the wand from the actual lipstick if you are using lipstick unless they brought their own you need some disposable lip wands you also need disposable mascara wands because you don't want to use the mascara straight from the tube unless you're just gonna throw it away afterwards but do not use the mascara wand straight from the tube if you know you're gonna use it on someone else next if you do do that because you're nervous you're scared or whatever just throw the mascara away afterwards okay don't use it straight from the tube and you're gonna need mascara okay honestly i would recommend waterproof mascara because some people want their makeup to last all night like they pay to have their makeup done so it can dead ass last all night so just get you a few mascaras it don't matter which one but i would suggest getting a waterproof mascara y'all you're gonna need to do their brows so get you some brow powders but if you can't afford brow powders, you can use eyeshadow. Like, that's why that neutral eye palette I showed you, the Morphe 350, it has very deep brown shades in there. You can just use eyeshadow to sculpt someone's brows. Or you can just get a brow pomade, you feel me? Anastasia Beverly Hills. I would get... I just get a neutral shade this one is chocolate and it's worked for me for multiple people but if you're doing someone's brows and they have very light brow hairs i would use eyeshadow eyeshadow works be creative sometimes you have to improvise you feel what i'm saying you don't have to splurge on building up your kit in the first what am i trying to say when you're just starting out you don't have to buy hella stuff for your kit just improvise you feel what i'm saying you are the most creative when you're working with a bare minimum sometimes okay you're gonna need like some scissors you never know sometimes you're gonna have to cut a lash because it's too long to be on someone so get you some scissors just just have them handy okay you might need to cut some to cut a bitch cut someone who's gonna run out the door not pay you okay you're gonna need some eyeliner some people want eyeliner get you something that comes like loose so you can just put it on your hand take a brush and line give them a wing liner or line their lids or something i wouldn't use eyeliner directly like if it's a pen don't use it directly on their eye unless you're going to give it to them or you're going to throw it away after um if you try to sanitize those they're just going to dry out um i would just recommend getting you a gel pot liner so you can put it on the back of your hand get a brush apply it to them i like this one it's like very opaque this is the tart tartiest clay paint liner um i like this one but get you like a pot potted gel liner or something loose okay we got to be sanitary like that's key you got to be sanitary at all times do not compromise your sanitariness okay don't okay have some q-tips on deck you never know like you might need to get some out of someone's eye have some q-tips on deck for sure have some cosmetic sponges on deck these come in handy so well like i use these to cut people's contour to put like I hold it against their face so when I'm putting on their lipstick I don't get my sweaty hand on their face. I put it against their under eye so when I need to create a crisp line like underneath the eye, the wedge gives me guidance. You feel what I'm saying? Wedges have multiple uses so keep them in your kit as well. Oh my gosh, this saved me you guys so much. You Sometimes maybe you got clients back to back, you feel me? You need to clean your brushes ASAP and have them dry fast AF, okay? I really love and it smells so good too i really love this dry clean instant brush cleaner spray that's from the sephora collection you you literally just spritz it on your brush psh, psh, um you just rub it on a paper towel and it takes all of the pigment out or all of the dirt that was on it out and it dries very quickly this kind of feels like an oil like a little bit like it has an oil feel to it so it's uh, moisturizes or conditions your brushes at the same time without drying them out so you just spritz out your brush and rub it on a paper towel and the pigment is gone so you can use that same brush on someone else and just spritz it with alcohol a little bit so you don't transfer germs um but keep you a uh, instant like brush cleaning substance in your kit okay y'all glitter is in like people love glitter people are so obsessed with glitter so someone might ask you for a glitter cut crease you want to have glitter on deck i got all of these glitters for only a dollar at bulkglitters.com bulkglitters.com is the homie okay friend you feel me 
so go ahead on to that site i'll actually link it below i'll link everything below that i mentioned that deserves a link um but get you some glitter all of the glitters that i have are only a dollar okay get you some glitters people might ask for a glitter cut crease and you want to be prepared okay you might have to do some color correction unless you have a very very full coverage foundation so i would get a color correcting concealers or a few this one is from morphe um la girl pro hd concealer has a few so i have some from them um but you might have to color correct and if you're not comfortable color correcting just tell the person you feel what i'm saying just tell them you have to tell them you have to communicate you don't want a client coming in thinking you can do it all when you really can't okay so just be comfortable with telling them i'm sorry i can't do that for you i'm not advanced enough yet you feel me but anyways just keep one i think this was only six dollars on the morphe site lastly i think this is the last thing on my list lastly of course you're gonna need brushes but if i were to go through every brush that i think is essential for a makeup kit that would take a whole last other video so thumbs up this video if you like this video if you like these tips uh, on what to put into, into your makeup kit and then thumbs up this video if you want me to go in depth or not maybe in depth but just what brushes to put into your makeup kit of course you know you're going to need something for foundation brows but if you want me to tell you what brushes that you really need let me know i can make a whole nother video on that why am i talking so slow i don't know okay so thumbs up this video if you want me to tell you what brushes should go into your makeup kit um i have so many brushes and there's really my go-to's for client makeup because i know they will always work they'll never fail me so i can't do another video on that so let me know you feel me but anyways i can't give all the tea out in this one video so let me know what other videos you guys want me to do for makeup kits or makeup artistry in general um if you like this video let me give it a thumbs up let me know it's very encouraging you guys let me know like this shit what's this shit okay what i'm saying and just thumbs up my video helps my engagement it just really supports my channel so i just thank you so much that you give my video a like and you comment and you share like thank you so much it means so much to me anyway guys this concludes my video i love you guys so much if you're new to my channel what's poppin girl what's up i know you're gonna hit that subscribe button you feel me i know you are because why wouldn't you i'm aliyah what's up girl come become part of the homegirl family become part of the home again become part of the fam what's up girl i love you so much thank you for watching that's so dope that you clicked on my video and i will see you in the next one bye Thank you.